Lone Star State. Lubbock, Texas is the site for today's exciting college football game. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Burgess is on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Here's an opening. Across midfield, and he's tackled at the 45-yard line. How about that play? Excellent job by the running back on that little option. First and ten. Ball on the 45. Tackle made around the 42-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. On the handoff, big hit, and he'll lose yardage. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. He makes his way to about the 28. So they run it on fourth down, and they pick up the first. Boy, big play there, Brad. You know, a lot of times on fourth down, you'll see the ball carrier panic, but not this guy. This is a good job of showing patience and letting the run develop. First and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. He's knocked out of bounds at the 27. Quickly to the tailback. He's tackled at the 24. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it 35. This is the eighth play of this drive. Looking for his man, incomplete. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. Fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. Cincinnati could take the lead with this field goal. It has the distance, and it's good. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 3 nothing. Cincinnati. Fletcher is lined up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Red Raiders know that they can give this guy the ball, Kirk, 25, 30 times a game, and that's great. And if it's working, that's perfect. But also, as a defensive team, you look at him and you go, we worry about him too much, we could get burned somewhere else. Well, the defensive coach has told us this week the first thing that they have to do is stop this running game. And when, when you're convinced you have to stop the running game, you leave your defensive backs, especially your corners, isolated one-on-one -on -one in coverage. And if they're smart, they'll try to take advantage of that and try to make some big plays in the passing game, maybe early, and then go back to old reliable, and that's running the football. Green 
and down he goes around the 25 yard line. That brings up third and 10. It's third and 10. Ball in the 25. Wide receiver screen play. They'll bring him down at the 31 yard line. That screen gets around six. Fourth down. Smith back deep to return. Oh, excellent punt. Smith takes it at the 23. They'll bring him down at the 35 yard line. Well, the defense held them to three on their last possession. Pitching a shutout on this drive would be even better. Cincinnati is up by three. Nice run there. Seven yard scamper on the keeper. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's at the 40. Brought down at the 30-yard line. Perfectly run option keeper. Not what you'd expect when you prepare all week to defend the option. But then again, give this offense some credit. These guys aren't exactly the scout team. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Well, the defensive backs completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. They try the right side. He's taken down at the 17. Counter play is good for about a yard. From the 17 yard line, second down. Pryor takes the give. Runs it left for a decent game. Got him over the middle. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A six play, 65 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one, great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Got a receiver and he dropped it. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Pocket holds. And they make the stop at about the 35. I wouldn't be surprised if this one is offensive pass, pass interference. interference. Offense. Nothing doing for the offense, and it's fourth down. That's a gain of 10 on the play. That makes it fourth and inches. Burgess is waiting for the snap. He's tackled at 
the 29. Cincinnati's got a great offensive game plan in this one. Well, they are off to a great start. And sometimes you lose your focus when you start this fast. I think a challenge for them is just to maintain what they've done up to this point and keep that foot on the accelerator. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Nice run up the middle. That's a game of four. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on their own 33. He makes it to the 35-yard line. taken down at the 48 yard line that was actually pretty good defense but a great pass and a great catch were enough to overcome it from their own 48 yard line it's first down got a man watch out here tackle at the 37 yard line that was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down first down Tailback brought down for a loss. It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 41 yard line. Gets to about the 41 yard line. complete and he's hit right away they'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt he gets it up not a very good attempt there by the kicker so our count is still 10-0 Cincinnati They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Tackled after a decent pickup. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled at the 47. Scrambling around. Slides down. Morton gets six yards after taking it himself. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Makes it out to about the 33. on the run dives for extra yardage from the 20 yard line first down Huge 
play, and it's going to be first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That brings him And this is the eighth play of the drive. So at the end of one, Cincinnati leads 10-0. to the action now here in the second quarter. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Touchdown, Red Raiders. So they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he tacks on the extra point. Burgess looks ready to kick this one off. Anderson fields it at the three, and he's taken down at the 30. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Cincinnati is up a field goal. Up the middle for a nice game. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. He's under some heat. Tackle made at the 45. Number 14 brings him down at the 45-yard line. First down. They bring him down in the backfield. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. So it's second and 13. Ball in the 42. He's tackled at the 48. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 45. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Cincinnati holds a field goal lead. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. They're stopped two yards behind the line. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. This is the eighth play of this drive. That's a great tackle at the 42-yard line. 
Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. And don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Fletcher to punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Fires to his receiver, first down. From their own 39-yard line, first down. He tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down at about the 41. He's scrambling. And down he goes. That's the 46. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Three, two, three, nine. Three, nine. Here go. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. Brought down at the 50. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. From the 46-yard line, it's second down. Up the middle, gets to about the 44-yard line. to set up a screen for the wide receiver. He's taken down at the 41. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Cincinnati is up by three. Wide open, incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. Knocked out of bounds at the 32. First down. From the 32-yard line, it's first down. Makes it to the 21. He's 
He's gobbled up in the backfield. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the runner. Second and 13. Ball on the 24-yard line. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Got a man in and out of his hands. It's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Cincinnati has a three-point lead. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. Fletcher gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He scrambled. And they get the sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. from their own 20-yard line. Second down. And they make the stop around the 30-yard line. it out no incomplete Hudson was the intended receiver on the play that'll bring up fourth and five certainly they don't have the return on here oh what a hit pretty good job by the return man there Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Cincinnati is up by six. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. after positive, positive yardage. That's, That's a gain of five, five on the play. play. That, that makes, makes it first and ten. ten. He heaves it deep. This one will fall incomplete. From the 50. Second down. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Caught with room to work. Tackle at about the 31. Number nine with the tackle at the 31-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. And 
And he might want it all here and does. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Cincinnati up six. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Laterals back. The 10. The 5. Touchdown, Cincy! He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The defense shut him down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. it out to about the 36. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. And he's tackled at about the 49. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Now he's scrambling. Tackle made at the 44. Easy, easy. Blair, that makes it six and six. Scrambling around. And they push him out at the 33. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33. Zips it to the tight end. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. Swings it out left to the halfback. They'll bring him down at the 15-yard line. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Bearcats with a 13-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. You can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kurt. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He just drills this one. 
And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Cincinnati's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. There's a missed tackle. He's tackled in the open field. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven. Ball on the 28. Come on. Red two. And he carries the ball for a nice game. About a four-yard gain there on the quarterback draw. That makes it third. To the right. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. That's good for the end two yards. That'll bring up fourth and one. Smith awaiting the return. He's tackled at the 29 yard line. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. They hand it off, and he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. From their own 31-yard line, second down. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Fletcher is the punter. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He fields the punt at the 13. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. It's the tailback. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. Third down. You got nothing. You got nothing. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, coming. Mike, Mike. Dog four. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. From their own 43-yard line, first down. And he hits him hard at the 44-yard line. hit before it can go anywhere. From the 45-yard line, first down. And down he goes at the 43. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. 
two. He's coming to reduce cover. Mike, Mike. Watch, watch a slap. Watch a slap. Red slap. two. Green. Go. Run. Brought down around the 33-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down around the 24-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Lost the ball, fumble, and scooped up. Oh, so close to breaking it. He really wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirk? Well, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Up the middle for a nice game. From the 18-yard line, it's second down. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. The 10. What a play, and that is first and goal. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Quick pass, and he is drilled at the eight-yard line. Gets to about the five-yard line. It's third and goal from the five. Let's see if they can put this one in. Got it to his man on the screen. They pick up two on the pass play. It wasn't a huge gain here, but at least you know as a quarterback that when you throw to this senior, you're putting the ball into some sure hands. The kick is up, and he got it. Cincinnati yet set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. And the kicker comes in to make the tackle. A fumble really hurt this team's last drive. So let's see if they can make up for that blunder on this drive. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Very good tackle in space. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Steps out of bounds at the 35. Gets it out quickly. At the 30. 
to the 20. And they make the stop at the 12-yard line. It's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Feeds it to the back. They're not done yet. And once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. The defense has to come out and make a stop on the next drive so this offense can get to work again. They aren't out of this game yet. And he hits the PAT. Texas Tech is ready to kick it away. Good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. He guns it left side, makes the catch and gets out of bounds. It's first and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Hands it to the back. And he's taken down right around the 38-yard line. I think sometimes offenses forget to even include corners as defenders and tactics because a lot of corners just want to be out there and playing against the pass. But this is a corner that they have got to be responsible and remember in the future that he's got to be involved in being able to come up with a blocking scheme. This time they just let him go and he's athletic and strong enough to come up and make a play. Gets rid of it quickly and that was almost picked. Fletcher awaits the snap. Oh, excellent put. Tackle at the 31. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. They get nice yardage on that run. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. This is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 23-14, Bearcats. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. to go long and does. 
That's a huge, huge stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. Burgess is waiting for the snap. Gets out to about the 31. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gets out to about the 31. Second and 10. Ball on their own 31. Caught, open field. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line. He lets it go. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. Fletcher to punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11. Ball on their own 19. He's out of bounds around the 22-yard line. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. I don't know what game plan this offense is running, but it might need to be reassessed by this coaching staff. Smith is the deep man awaiting the return. Smith fields it at the 38, and he's taken down at the 45-yard line. They are ready to begin another drive. And they'll get him in the backfield. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays, but if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. From their own 43-yard line, second down. He's tackled at the 42. to his wideout. Tackle made around the 28-yard line. It definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and 10. Throws out to the running back. No good. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Here's the halfback. 
They'll bring him down right around the 20. Gain of eight yards. Third down. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Here's the run right. He's got nowhere to go. He gets it up, and he splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. Give to the back and hit hard for a loss. That'll bring up second and 11. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 24 yard line. Three down, three down. Back 22, back 22. Go four. Green 15. No shield, no shield. Tackle around the 20 yard line. The option is all about timing, and on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Mike 22, he's coming, 22's coming, Mike, Mike. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He wants it all, going long. Almost intercepted. Can't ask for much more than a three and out. Great job, defense. That brings us fourth and 15. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. They'll bring him down at the 47 yard line. They'll come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Excellent open field tackle. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Tailback brought down for a loss. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. And down he goes at the 40. Number 35 with the tackle at the 40 yard line. From the 40 yard line, first down. Tackled after a decent pickup. Good for a game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Two times, two times. Two down, two down. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. Stay right. And he stopped behind the line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30.
Here comes the pressure. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. It's fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Less than three minutes in the game. It's up. And he just drilled it from long range. Fletcher ready to kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Quick throw. Brought down at the 31-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's taken down around the 33-yard line. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. That makes it fourth and inches. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Two down, two down. Back 22, back 22. Red two. Red seven, red seven. Up the middle for a nice game. He wants it all. In and out of his hands. It's second and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. A little over a minute in the game. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. Nice run, and he's brought down. And once again, the coach has decided to go for it on fourth down. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. So a big, big stop on fourth down here late in the fourth quarter. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. And he's tackled after positive yardage. The Red Raiders will use their first time out of the half. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. On the ground, left side. And they make the stop right around the 50. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Nice run there as they work the outside. Normally, you look for the pass in those kinds of situations. But a very alert play stopped that run short of the sticks. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. We have less than a minute to go. Steps out of bounds at the 23-yard line. It's second and seven, ball on the 23-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. No. 
Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. And he throws right away. And that one's fallen incomplete. So they're going to go for it here. There's a strike complete. And he's taken down at about the 35. The spike will stop the clock. He goes downtown. The freshman makes the catch. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. And he stops the clock with a spike. And this play is number eight on the drive. Throws for the touchdown, and it's going to be an interception. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Bearcats with the victory, 29-14. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.